Each year, thousands of dogs and cats here in Tennessee fall prey to disease carrying ticks and parasites, and the numbers are growing. Our resident veterinarian, Dr. Craig Pryor, is here now with some important information for all pet owners. This sounds like scary stuff. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, not, it's not fun for our pets. Yeah, it? not at all, but no. it's something that is preventable. Yes, okay. yes. So it's, you know, tick, you know, lots of different parasites out there. Ticks mm -hmm. are one of the parasites that carry disease with mm -hmm. them. Uh, many types of ticks in this area, and unfortunately, um, we're seeing with our forecasting through the Companion Animal Parasite Council that uh, ticks are moving. They're, you know, parasites are a, a, a dynamic and never changing, and um, they change as, as, as things change. We're finding that deer are invading a lot of um, neighborhoods now, and along with deer come deer, deer ticks, and you can see here that this is actually Lyme's disease, and Lyme's disease is not big here, but it never used to be here, but now it's coming. And we're seeing it spread down from the northeast and it's coming down through Kentucky and now it's into, Nash into Tennessee and Nashville. And we're starting to see a rise in Lyme's disease. We're seeing a leukiosis now as well. It's, a, it's sort of wearing I've a hot center for So it's another tick borne disease. It okay. causes uh, devastating um, problems with our dogs. And it's spreading up from the southwest. Texas up through here, and, and this is actually a little hotbed for here. So it's it's on the rise as well. What about Ana anaplasmosis? Anaplos it's another tick-borne disease, and it is here as well. It's not in higher numbers, but it is here. The, the good news is, is that if we can stop ticks, we can stop the spread of the disease. So we want to kill ticks before they have time to spread disease, and it takes about five to six hours of a tick attachment before it starts to be able to spread the disease. So we can kill them fast. That's the way to go, and that's you know your, your your own veterinarian can best advise you what's locally in your area mm -hmm. because parasites are ever changing, and so what's here may in one area may not be in another. So your, your local veterinarian can tell you what's here and what are the best products to use against them. What I like for dogs now is Brevecto. It's a chewable treat, and it kills adult fleas and all the ticks involved here, and it lasts for three months with one pill. Nice. It's a game changer. It's a really good drug, and it's really safe. Fairly new? Yes, it's been only been out of about 10 months, and good. it's a really good, safe drug to use. All right, so ask your vet about that. Yeah, absolutely. Some other parasites we need to so, know about? And then, you know, away from tick type of things, we're seeing roundworms, hookworms, and, you know, the numbers here on these screens aren't as high as they really should be because this is pulling from national data out of national uh, out of national labs. But a lot so of the times... So that's roundworm. The roundworms, we test locally uh, in our own clinics for this, and, you know, the incidence is high. Uh, you know, 99% of puppies and kittens have hookworms and roundworms. Wow. And hookworms and roundworms, you see, are zoonotic, which means they can be spread to us. Mm -hmm. so that's why you wash your hands before you eat. Wash your hands after you play with your pet. Right. Uh, about 10,000 children a year are infected with hookworms and roundworms every year. And What's whipworm? Whipworms is our intestinal parasites, mainly of dogs, of the large intestine. And it's a hard one to find, but it causes really bad diarrhea in some dogs. And, you know, good news is these are preventable. We can treat them, but we can also prevent them. Most of the monthly parasites uh, control, you know, heartworm, like my dog, Moo is on sentinel spectrum, so it prevents heartworms, five intestinal parasites, including hookworms, roundworms, and whipworms, and it breaks the flea life cycle. And so she's on that with Brevecto. I don't have any problems with her. Okay. So this stuff's preventable. Talk to your veterinarian about what are the best products to use with your particular pet. Very important. Thank yes. you. Yeah, my Good pleasure. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, if you have concerns about your pets and uh, one of these diseases, you can contact your veterinarian. If you'd like to get in touch with Dr. Pryor, you'll find his information on our website at newschannel5.com. He's at Murphy Road Animal Hospital.